Hi Sagittarius, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot reading for all Sagittarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, thanks to all of you for all the support. I send you love and appreciation every single day. And if you're new here, welcome. I post new readings on Friday, then again on Monday. And Fridays are always a general reading. So today's reading will hit on all areas of life. Mondays are a different style every week. We're just going to have to come back to see what that's all about. I'm not offering personal readings right now, but when I do, I'll make an announcement on the channel so that with the information so those who are interested can access them. And if you like tarot and you like the channel, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. All right, what advice do you have for Sagittarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What does Sagittarius need to know, please? Guidance for Sagittarius. All right, we had a jumper. Okay. All right, so let's see here. We'll start with the tarot, and then we'll have the angel answers. You've got the hermit, the seven of swords, the magician. That little seven of swords isn't going to get away with much. The chariot, that's like putting your foot down on the seven of swords. You've got the three of wands, the seven of pentacles. So we've got three sevens now and the ace of swords and the empress. Look, I like this a lot. I do want to tell you, though, you had the ten of swords pop out. So we've got good stuff in here. We've got cancer. We've got Virgo here. Uh, four major are kind of that significant. Now we technically have nine cards here. You've got fire, air, earth as well. But I feel like you have an ending. And I feel like it has to do with Seven of Swords. We're going to be, again, ending that Seven of Swords. Some of you, it may feel like a betrayal. It may be somebody who's talked about you. And it may not be, there's no advantage to what they're doing. They may have really kind of exposed themselves um, in a negative light. And so I do feel like, again, you're going to end that if you've got a toxic relationship with somebody and you've just had it with it. I just don't see you going back for more. Now, somebody here too, this may be unrelated because you got a great love story. You've got things moving forward. Um, there may be a bit of jealousy in your midst with that. Somebody was having a hard time with that. But overall with this 10, these are about, uh, you know, it's, it's really about dominion. And so I do feel like it shows you, they show you exactly what you need to see. So don't second guess it. Don't try to talk yourself out of it. We don't need to make a bigger case. You know, we're not here trying to build a case against somebody, but I do feel like when you see it, acknowledge it, because sometimes we'll start trying to make, you know, argue against ourselves and what we know. I'm telling you what, though, with the magician, the chariot, and the empress, look at all that. Look at the yellow background. I love that. That is so significant in terms of moving on into a new environment, being in a blessed state of mind, being in a blessed material state, too. So I do feel like with this, there's no trickster that's going to fool you. So you may find that you just kind of, it's like flicking a gnat off of your shoulder. You just don't give it much attention and you're going to keep moving forward here. So <clears throat> you have the path to the heart and you have know thyself twice. And this is important because when you have that, that message coming through, I think that sometimes we just poo-poo it. But it really, again, it's like you don't bend. You don't allow yourself to be in a situation where you know you don't belong. But this is really having a deep level of understanding. It is going down deep into who you really are and saying, let me know you. Let me understand this. And so with this, you have a great connection in terms of spirituality, of understanding, of wisdom. And for some, you may decide that you're not going to have a big, gigantic reaction. Okay, you're not here to... Um, I hear be passive aggressive. I, who would do that? Um, but I, I do feel like with this, you may kind of take it in and make a decision based on that. Now, for some of you too, with this energy of the hermit, it is a card of success too. So those of you that have been trying to make a plan, if you've been making a plan to do something like work for yourself, okay, like you've always had this dream to be more, have more freedom, more autonomy, or it's just a job change. I do feel like you may keep it pretty close to the vest. And that might be why that Seven of Swords is there. Because you know the cards don't lie. And the, the tarot may be trying to warn you a bit. Like, hey, I wouldn't advertise this. Because you have somebody small around you. And you didn't come here to play small. But they'll try to keep you there if they can. 
So you may find if you are moving jobs or you're doing something else, um, like a side hustle kind of thing, that you just don't advertise it. You've got that, especially with the magician, keep your good ideas to yourself until they're fully developed. Once you're underway, it's like, you know what? It's This is already in stone. I mean, there's no setting this back. And so with the Seven of Swords, again, with the right care, it doesn't do much to you. Because, I mean, you know, I love how they drew this character. I mean, talk about unprepared, somebody who just does not freaking think. I mean, he could have brought a box or something to carry those or gloves. He just grabs them with his bare hands. And so with the magician energy, I feel like you're giving quite a bit of this. It's like you're standing strong in your own personal power. And I feel like for somebody too with the hermit, I, I feel somebody here has that um, drive to be more unconditional in a way, in a sense. And so some things just are not going to bother you that much where you're going to find it's like, well, that's just not a match. Okay, that's all right. I'm over here. I'm focusing on if you're taking a trip or you're traveling, I'm focusing on my goals. I'm focusing on my financial situation and, and bringing more into it because this is a time too where there's abundance right at your fingertips. So you may even stumble across something like I get somebody if you're in the pickleball craze. I mentioned pickleball when my channel was very new. Nobody knew what I was talking about. And now it seems like everybody's playing, but I do get if you're going to be some kind of a, um, like a distributor or an opportunity to like sell equipment and getting that, like something, I don't know if you call it a distributor or vendor. I don't know. That sounds like Amway or something, but, um, yeah, I do feel like with this, it's like having an opportunity like that, where you're going to be making some money off of something that you already enjoy. And so with the energy of the chariot, now in terms of relationships, you got a good one coming in here. The chariot energy, this cancer energy, it's very much somebody who's committed, devoted, protective of the relationship. They're not jealous, okay? This is not a control freak as much as they just won't do things that'll screw things up. I, I just feel like they're, they're mature enough to know how to be in a relationship. And also, too, maybe somebody here, you may meet somebody important who's going to connect you with a new idea for money. I, I get that as well. And they're solid. It's like they give great direction. They give great information. And so with this energy of the ch a chariot, this is a triumphant time. It really is. And like I said, this is like you putting your foot down on that seven of swords. It's immaterial. It's irrelevant. It's like a, a tiny little gnat, like we said in the beginning. So with this, you're going to be bold. You're going to make moves. And with this too, um, it's law of attraction energy. So be aware of that. I mentioned earlier about that, I thought, but maybe I didn't. So with the three of wands, this three of wands, you set your sights on the prize. And if it is a relationship, it may have been a long time coming. Now, if the ending that you have here is with a significant other, this can be reconciliation, but I do feel like overall, you're out to move forward. You're out to bring in something that truly is a match not something that has to be managed and manipulated into a match. That was a lot of alliteration, but I think I got it. Um, so with this, I do feel like you're going to just say, you know what, there's more out there. There's 8 billion people. I'm not here to try to change somebody or somebody who wants to change me as well. And so you have more opportunities coming in here. Now, I didn't really get into this, but with the chariot too, that can be moving and travel. So some of you too, you may be in the beginning stages of planning a trip I hear to a far away land. And so I feel like in the having fun in the meantime, the joy of the journey, watching travel videos or whatever you like to do to do the planning, it's going to be a great help. And I do hear too, like somebody taking a, a cross country, like a sleeper train. I'm not even hearing it. I'm seeing it. I'm seeing somebody like in the sleeper car. I've never done that. I've heard they're fairly quick, but you might know better about that than me if you're already looking into it. Well, I mentioned you had three sevens. Here's the other one. Okay, it's your time to harvest. So you reap what you sow. But again, I feel like with this, you're on the right path. And for some, it's money pickup. It's it's going to be money coming in. And with the seven of pentacles, it can be, pentacles can be about the physical body as well. So I will say with the ace of swords being here, if you're setting goals, you're going to reach those goals and even pass them. So you're you're going to find that you're seeing progress. Those of you that have made a commitment to change. And you're just not going to go back into the same old, same old patterns. That's just not what you're interested in doing. With the Ace of Swords, you have mental clarity. And it is communication too. So 
And those of you, I just don't see delays. I feel like that Seven of Swords pops up in some ways because things are moving forward. I don't feel that they can create any delays for you. I don't see that. I get it more as they see it moving forward and it's irritating to them. They're jealous. All right, there's some jealousy in your midst. But because you're in this, this sort of one-track mind, and they might even tell you, you just have a one-track mind, like you're just self-involved. Well, you're focused on a goal. Okay, you're not here to caretake over other people. So with this Ace of Swords, it is a new beginning and it's very clear. There's no confusion here. There's no cloudiness here. It's straightforward. The Empress brings in that energy of abundance and luxury and prosperity. It's gold. Okay, she is a card of being in love too and being a mother. She's also a mother. So for some, it may be a time when everything around you, I hear, is coming up roses. I don't use that phrase. So if that's an important phrase to you, they want you to hear it. Um, but it's it really is, it's an abundant period. And so you'll find too, we focused, I focused, not we, I did it to you, focused a lot on that seven of swords. But I do want you to know, you've got a very nurturing energy around you as well, especially if you have a partner somebody who's in this kind of energy. It's somebody who does, they love deeply. And like I said, they are a bit protective. And it may be too, they're protective of you too on a personal level if you're dealing with someone who's been unhappy. And it's their own issue, really. It's their stuff. But let's see what else you need to know, Sagittarius. What advice do you have for Sagittarius? Messages for Sagittarius, please. Golden opportunity. So again, you may have new doors opening. You've got it there, right there. So it may be something new and they say, keep your good ideas to yourself. You've got compromise. So again, for some of you, you may just decide that the best thing to do is to allow somebody to move on, all right? And to just, oh, you know, it's this double chariot in my book. You've got success. And you've got perfect timing. And we have, oh, I couldn't get it. Yes, all right. Good things are on the way for you, Sagittarius. I love you, and I'll be back again soon.